Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. Today we are bringing you interview question and answers for Node.js. A lot of uh, friends and community have requested for top interview question and answers with examples on various technologies. So this is that part of that series. So this is Node.js top interview question and answers. Before we get started, I request you friends to please subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. Also, if you have any doubts, get them cleared for free. Just subscribe to my channel and ask me your doubts. I'll be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with Node.js interview question and answers part one. So the first question that is asked in interviews is, what is Node.js? Node.js is one of the most popular and powerful server technologies today. It allows you to build the entire website only in one programming language that is JavaScript. Node.js is a free and open source server technology that uses JavaScript to create complete web software. It runs on various platforms like Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac, etc. So you, essentially you can, it's a JavaScript which is written for server side. Explain CLI in Node.js. So the CLI means stands for command line interface. It is an utility or a program on your computer where users type commands to perform some actions to run some script rather than clicking on the screen. Also, this is known as console mode. Some people call it console because they are like, like Unix and Linux style. You can just run commands. What are the different, there are different types of commands and line interface depending upon which operating system we are using. So we have listed some of the below commands that you can, uh, scripts that you can use and run. So bash on Linux, terminal of Mac, command prompt or PowerShell on Windows. So these are all the terminals that you can use or bash that you can use. So in which language is Node.js written? So Node.js is written in C, C++ and JavaScript. Now it might be confusing, but it uses Google's open source V8 JavaScript engine and then convert that JavaScript to C++ code. That makes it easy to run JavaScript, not only for browser, but the entire system, making it a powerful server side language. Who is the author of Node.js? Node.js is written by Ryan Dahl. Explain what is Java, what is a JavaScript engine? So a JavaScript engine is a program that converts code written in JavaScript to something that computer processor understands. So to, to explain it better, our code that we write is in JavaScript, but it gets converted into lower level system level language. So which then gets converted into binary and that's how it can operate. So this is an, a good question that is asked to see your understanding on the JavaScript. Explain V8 engine. V8 is Google's open source high performance JavaScript engine written in C++ and used in Google Chrome and also in now in IE. It implements ECMA standards and runs on Windows 7 or later Mac, Linux systems. V8 can run standalone or can be embedded into any C++ application. Now the important question that also comes when talk about Node.js is what explain ECMAScript script. Now this question can be asked to you if you are preparing for JavaScript uh, interview also. So ECMAScript is the standard on which JavaScript is based upon. It was created to standardize JavaScript. So if you see the history, different browsers behave differently. And that's exactly why they came up with a standard called ECMA so that all browsers can behave the same way. And hence ECMA is like a guiding rules or we can say an, an particular uh, standard that all browsers follow so that every all applications work easily. It is commonly used for client side scripting on the World Wide Web and used by Node.js for writing server side applications. 
All right, so let's move to the next question. How to check the installed version of Node.js on your machine? So we can write run the command in the terminal and say node hyphen v. So it will give you the current version installed on your machine. That's how we can check on any operating system, be it Linux, Windows or Mac. All right, let's move to the next question. Explain what is NPM. So NPM stands for node package manager. Now, Node Package Manager is nothing but your package manager where it will help you. Uh, you don't have to go around installing each library individually. Instead, we can get everything in our package.json or yarn and get everything in one go by automatically. So NPM will fetch it from the npm.js and install them. NPM is used for installing, updating packages that are required in your JavaScript modules. To the next question. Explain modules in Node.js. So modules are reusable block of code whose existence does not impact any other code in any other way. So it is not supported by JavaScript. Modules are introduced from ES6 onwards. That is when we say module.export or classes. That is how we write modules. So module you can think of it like a reusable or common set of code which can which does not get impacted but can be imported and used again modules are a very important aspect of writing reusable code and especially if you are working with a team which is distributed or spread across it makes sense to use modules than just individual uh, methods or functions so that is very, very important. This is an important question that is asked um, in almost in all of the interviews to see your understanding. So make sure you have gone through this good. All right, now let's move to the next one. Now, what is required method and in Node.js? How do you use it? So when interviewer is asking you this question, they want to know that whether have you used them or not and what is your understanding of the same so it is the easiest way to include a module into node so we have seen that in the previous question we talked about creating modules so once a module is created how do you how do you import it into another class it is using the require method so using require method we is used to include modules from external files it is the easiest way to include a module in node. Basically require is a function that takes a string parameter which contains the location of the file that you want to include. It reads the entire JavaScript file, executes the file and then proceeds to return the exports object. All right. Now we will see all of this in detail um, with some examples in the coming videos. But for now, just follow along and just get that understanding correct get your theory correct and we will i will try and help you as much as you can to give you a good practical hands-on example the next question explain module dot exports so a module so three steps remember three steps one creating a module then importing it right using require and finally exporting that module as module.exports so the module.export method defined in modules cannot be directly accessible so when we create methods in the module you cannot access them directly it needs to be exported in order to use them that's why we use module.exports again there is a simple example that is listed here go through it we are creating a method and then we are saying module.export the same method and then we are using it i will cover all of this in detail for with practical examples for now as part of theory let's continue building on this so the next question is is node.js single threaded yes node.js is a single threaded to perform asynchronous operations doing async processing on a single thread could provide more performance and scalability 
under typical web loads that the typical thread based implementation so to answer this question you should say yes node.js is a single threaded um, um, three single threaded uh, task to perform asynchronous processing and then you can also say that it provides more performance and scalability under typical web loads all right let's move to the next what are events in node.js so this is another important question you should know if you are working with node.js an event is an action or occurrence recognized by software slash app that is handled by writing a code that will be executed when an event is fired. It's much similar to if you are comfortable or familiar with JavaScript events. You can, you can relate to it. So it will be more or less similar. And you can see that it, it will be making sense when you do like operations like mouse move, click, enter, all these are JavaScript events that can be captured even in Node.js. All right. So the next one is explain event loop in Node.js. So uh, in Node.js processes, we discussed that are single threaded. So when they are single threaded, we it supports concurrency. So for that, it uses events and callbacks. An event loop is a mechanism that allows Node.js to perform non-blocking I.O. operations. So that way it's not blocked. The resources are not blocked and they are freed to do multiple asynchronous activities. All right. So the last question on this particular part series is, how do you create a simple server in Node.js that returns a hello world? So we can say by right, I mean, I have given you the following code, which will help you write a single um, server, right? Let's see that code. So first I'm saying var HTTP require HTTP. Then I'm saying HTTP dot create server. And then I've attached a method to it, callback method request, which will take a request and a response. So response dot right head 200 and response dot end and I'm giving that content which is hello world. So this is a very simple way to start um, your um, node server, but we will see it's not always that easy or standard to use simple ones. It has to be uh, really handling all the error use cases, scenarios, routing. We'll configure all that in the next tutorials that are coming up. But for now, I request you to go through these basic questions and then drop me comments. If you have any doubts, I will we'll be happy to help you. That being said, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. Thank you so much.